What's up, what's up everyone? Yeah, I know it's not usual, but hey, don't worry. Boys, boys, we represent everywhere. My name is DKB, and I'm here to present to you the funniest show on Ghanaian TV, corporate comedy series. Most of you have been following week after week on Viasat. Guess what? We thank you very much for your commitment. Now, today is an exciting one. What I want you to do is that, you know, get a spare rib because you're going to crack the ones you have. And trust me, you're going to love this. My name is DKB, I officially welcome you to the show. Comedy bar, comedy bar, Ghana comedy. We have suffered rough. <laughs> See, the most dangerous occupation to pursue in Ghana is comedy. Right now, yes. Yes. Because, you see, like musicians, they can perform one song in 200 places. <laughs> you are getting it now. A comedian, you have to release a new song every time. You don't get it. Assuming I'm sad for the My head song, Azoto Fiesta. How many bar? Today, Azoto Fiesta, I perform. Next week, Azoto Fiesta, I perform. Next week, Azoto Fiesta, I will perform. Now, if I'm a comedian and I tell a joke about unemployment, next week, you can, hey, hey guys, go at the same joke. <laughs> The third time I come, let's walk on BKB. Also, the same joke. <laughs> what would you do to me? <laughs> you see? Yeah. The fourth time before I hold the mic, my guy, there's no way you pick any joke for them. True. Musicians compose the song, put everything together, and the song is performed for so many times. See, we will compose the song, edit the song. Sing the song, master the song, back up the song, everything right on our foot. Who is more talented? Please some nice comment. <laughs> See, we've been to shows to miserable shows. I know one show in Cape Coast. The comedians remember, very sad. Cape Coast Culture Center, we got there, you know, feeling off like <laughs> for my cry, you know. <laughs> we didn't know we were going to perform to chairs and tables. <laughs> And you know, I tell you what, when you travel outside your zone to another place and the organizer is not confident, know that the show is a flop. What the hell, the guy? Michael Table. Michael Table. Are we going to have a huge car? I'm not coming, sure. <laughs> they will come, they will come. I said, I don't think they will. <laughs> Look, that night, this is so sad because. We the comedians, we are outnumbered comedians. <laughs> we have one nice comedians and apparently we were five people. <laughs> so we became a family show, like we performed together. We did give the mic to the audience for to perform. <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> yeah, we are suffering. You think it's easy? About the acting. Tell him, we won't keep. Yes, and the audience all appreciating behaviors. For me, yeah, I had a dream last night. And some few things were supposed to be. So many people are going to hell. <laughs> oh, to go. The first batch, the ones who make sure that they enjoy the comedy show, they laugh their hearts out, lungs out, nose out, they laugh their intestines out, they laugh everything out. When you go back and people are bashing their their comedians, then they add up to it. You enjoy yourself here. Then you go, oh, so you went to that comedy, but those useless comedians, they do everything fine. <laughs> That is very funny. I tried that, I just laughed only one. <laughs> Meanwhile, you, you go to hell. And they also made up their mind never to laugh. Why would you pay gift and come and sit here and don't laugh? Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's foolishness. I, I saw a few faces when the other guys were performing. People, you know, like the joke comes out. Everybody starts <laughs> oh my god, I'm funny. <laughs> Why are you contemplating that for that? <laughs> and see, Ghanaians, this corporate thing is killing us, losing up a little. Once you leave your office, you are not in your office. People are so uptight and broken. Besides, let me tell you what, we were, we were not wearing boxer shorts. In the olden days, it's the white man who brought the corporate lifestyle. Have you seen white people after work before? Yeah! It's after work! We got the shield, dog! Yeah! Give me some beer! It's after work! 
Can you ask that to excuse me? How are you doing? <laughs> and the next laugh. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Oh. After one show, there's this CEO just post like that. Even the mannequin is flexible. Post all the time. Listen, I could count the guy's laughter. He, he, he actually smells the laughter. Like, when it's very funny, and your people are going up, bah, 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 bah. Oh. 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 Three. Finish. This is really funny. <laughs> Please laugh. Quite funny. Ah. <laughs> and, he, and I was sitting behind him. You know, laughing when the thing is going back and back. This man had the best thing to me. Oh, excuse me, can you keep the laughter back? I controlled myself. I would have gone with my guy and the told him, come on, you can put the laughter back. But you know, I had to laugh to control myself. See? It is not easy being a Ghanaian comedy. I'm here sharing our woes. You are laughing, but the serious pain. Yeah. They say all sorts of things about us. There are no comedians in Ghana. There are no comedians in Ghana. There are no comedians in Ghana. Now, there's a tragedy. DK, this is Slaps of Big Brother. How did they address the article? Ghanaian comedian DK, this is Slaps in Ghana. Ghanaian who? I thought there was no comedian in Ghana. So, who is the fool? Oscar. Let's happen to rip a uh, girl. Don't <laughs> no, forget that. Let's Oscar happen to rip. Ghanaian comedian and extremely funny personality, David Oscar, rip 16 year old, the, uh, 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 how do you call it? Gullible, innocent, and vulnerable lady. Ghanaian comedian. But a week before, there are no comedian singer, I'm telling you, it's so sad because this is the. Disaster. Ghanaian comedians involved in disaster. Who, who are the comedians? Is your grandfather's who are the comedians? <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and these Ghanaian girls all falling for Nigerian comedy. Look, I don't hate Nigerians. Hey, you guys are hard. Uh, you are tough. You are many. Of course, you have to survive. So, of course, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't make jokes for quite a few days, you will know, do some more research. Yeah. These guys come on and they, and they actually mock the Ghanaian ladies and they laugh so hard. Oh, more horsey can I get low head in the way Brazilian hair. Yeah. Hey, 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 chiot. Put the carry seven, three head, put your head. And you see the same girl and you know, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, we can't you be going to kill me. <laughs> The last guy rehearsing jokes, rehearsing jokes, comes here, delivers the joke with all optimal delivery and functionality and everything. Then that just say that I just had to oh, like seriously. <laughs> you should laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Show some love for that little man. And shame on you if you don't agree with me because it's a hard truth. Now, back to what I was going to say. <laughs> you know, the only that time that, Shame, my boy, he's going to do the work. Yes, trust me, man. <laughs> and then, three weeks into the governance, I'm going to say your boy will do it. And we hope for the best. God, God is a protector. <laughs> Now, the man's concern for telling us that we should leave this country is because we are striking so much. So, we have to sacrifice for the nation. Sacrifice for this nation. When you have Jeddah, Jeddah stand up. 20 million, they have 200 million, oh no, 2 billion for one taxi. Taxi drivers, they, they report taxi drivers are paid 60 million a month. Corruption, you see the money being wasted. Why should you sacrifice? For what? I confess. Give it for one egg, 10 million. That's what they're recording for the, 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 the Savannah, whatever, whatever, as a, as a Lusada. See, it was so sad that I, I was one guinea for one, I was a you know, they keep guinea for And it was on the news, please accept. And I will see, hmm, so I confirm you, because you have a poor egg, 10 million, I, the guinea for them. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I said, they're telling me to sacrifice for this. Sacrifice what? If I had my 
way. We should all manipulate that thing called prepaid. Manipulate it. I, I hear that people come and I need your services. Manipulate that shit. 78% increment in utility. Am I a robot? Hey! And then increase salary. Electricity is so scarce, you can now, you can now, you know, like, get out. <laughs> now you, you can, you can, you can approach a lady and then convince her with the fact that you have electricity at home. <laughs> but it's true. We are talking and talking and talking to you. You like, you don't like me, huh? Okay, guess what? I get electricity. <laughs> Are, are you sure? So I can charge my phone here. You try something else. True. This is it. One more class, man. The corporate comedy series is proudly brought to you by Castle Monk Stout and supported by Citrus Book Cafe, Mountain Hotel, and Good Life Studios. And the four prices, hey Charlie, see those times uh, I used to get to the four station and I just pop my 20 Ghana. Uh, Charlie, you know, just give me 20, like, you know, just pop, pop my tank for me 20 Ghana. Now I get to this same police station and you don't want to hurt me. Charlie, tell me 20 Ghana. <laughs> because at first, 20 Ghana, oh, I guess in the car. So, uh, take together, baby, take together. You know, so. <laughs> now, watch, this is how 20 Ghana has to pay you. You get the purple, which I, okay, yeah, you pack, phew, from 20 Ghana. Then you see, yeah, no problem, pop up, pop up, on the car, oh, yeah, no problem. I'll finish your channel. <laughs> oh, you sure? Who wants the one that you sure? And then you think you want that. <laughs> what happened to the kid?
Is that what? Is what? What? You know the cat. The cat eaters. Why do you talk about cat eaters? Wait, you chew cat? Of course. <laughs> Who has ever smelled cat shit before? <laughs> it's still so bad, the smell chases you. Like, oh, it's a fool. Cat shit from here. Leave them go to airport. The smell is still in your nose. Those are the guys that when you're with them in the room, oh, baby, stop that poo. <laughs> I'm not in anybody's pocket or anybody's house. But ECG has been giving you guys a lot of hassle these days, haven't they? Huh? Serious. My mom calls me every day and tells me, you know what? Those times it's not 10 CD, it means they have three weeks. Now 10 CD, four days. Yeah, that's what it is, man. And I tell you, if you ever try any of your two free lines, <laughs> as soon as you call, you know they have this uh, automated voice answering machine. As soon as you call, you have reached ECG for inquiries about how to pay a bill, press 1. Enquiries on how to obtain a prepaid meter, press 2. Enquiries on how to top up your prepaid meter, press 3. If you are calling to report a power outage, take your passport and leave. <laughs> and if you didn't get this joke, then you are not trending because you are not throwing out the best. But when I hear really that, I just take a passport and off I go, you know what I'm saying? ACG. And you know what they've been doing there? You know, sometimes I do television, other times I do radio. And I wanted to take the trouble and the time to understand what the challenges of GT, uh, sorry, ECG are. I always say GT, they are the same. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You know, I wanted to understand why ECG behave the way they behave before I criticize. So one time I went on a discussion. And when I got to their main headquarters, I had to push to one of their revenue collection centers to the main quarters. And at the revenue collection center, they were using a generator. <laughs> <laughs> they were collecting money with generator. That's what they do with their life. Another institution I want to face. Oh, right, by the way, you know, thanks to the Black Stars, the Egyptian coach now has a new name, right? Oh, you missed that one? No, we don't know. You don't know? No, no. Oh, wow. Thanks to Black Stars, the Egyptian coach for Bradley is now called Mr. Nsiyan. Oh! Brad Nsiyan Bradley. First, the Ghana Police, another institution I want to talk about. Ghana Police. Oh, talk about, give Ghana Police a hand clap. Give them a hand clap. Look, the police service that they used to look attractive is now so swamped up to the point that it is everybody's dream and not everybody. Every young guy's dream, not every young guy. Some young guys dream to not join the police force. Ain't that sweet? I'll tell you. I want Black Stars 161. I go to the Bombala market to buy a goat. Put the boat there. Goat my car boat. I was zero. Moving to Tama to go and celebrate my guys. I get to somewhere on the tow boat and I get stopped by this police. 12 p.m. area. My friend. Is that right? <laughs> 12. What is, is that? Okay, put it on. Hey, no police. When they catch you, they catch you. They must fight a fault. My friend, pack, pack, pack. So I went to back. The guy comes. Drop your boots. I got now. Okay, open the boots. And here was the boots. <laughs> ha! Whose boot is that? I <laughs> said, so I want to buy it from the market, you know. Ah, where is the receipt? <laughs> I produced the receipt. The guy was shocked. Ah, where was the boot born? <laughs> Bring the best certificate. <laughs> Seriously. So we get to that point where I have to sort it, but I don't have, you know, less adults in my pocket. I'm like, you know what? Let me just go. Me, me, I'll come and touch you out because we can't be talking. I said, don't worry, I have changed. Bring it. 
that is what is and what up to you if Androvers attack you in your house and you call Ghana police? We all do. I mean, in America and in America, the Germany and the Western world, they, they, they got no problem. 911 police is there, 10 minutes. Am I lying? Am I lying, right? Uh, never. What's your name? My name is Anna. What's your name? Ellen, where are you from? Yugi! <laughs> you are from UK, United Kingdom. Are you aware if I have to go to UK, I will have to pay 3,000 pounds? Are you aware? <laughs> you know that, right? If you look at me, do I have 3,000 pounds? <laughs> that doesn't look like I have 1,000 pounds. That is what your consular is asking for. And that is like pro bono, fat of Prove that you will go and come back with the distributed time and come and collect it. Oh no, I'm just not putting you on the spot. Ah, come on. I'm a sweet guy, you know, I'm a sweet guy. Yeah. How long are you here? Uh, two. Maybe you didn't hear. How long have you been here? Two years. Huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> two years. That is 365 days multiplied by two. Count, count it. The woman is even out, Halloween, chilling. Who went back with two years? You can. Well, much with my winner. It means that if you go to the UK and spend three years, that's what I said, the key. Oh, that's going to Yeah, that's the key. Anyway, I see, I, see, I see this woman here all the time. You're a very good patron of comedy, but please put your hands together for her. So, I was talking about the police. What up to you if you are attacked by armed robbers in this country? Let me give you the heads up so that you know and prepare yourself just in case. It happened to my friend that night. I happened to be there in the house with him, and these guys entered the premises and started shooting. <laughs> so I picked up the phone, called down the police. First and foremost, the person who responded had to clear his throat <laughs> with a very thick, heavy accent. Uh, this is a uh, captain. Don't watch me on the line. Uh, Ghana police service with integrity. <laughs> What did you say? Are we robots? I said, no, no, I'm not saying I'm just saying, ah, robots, they're here, shoot it, they're shooting up. A big carrying guns. I said, yes, pop match, I'm just saying, pop match, I'm right now. You are still talking to Captain Dokwa Hero. What did you say that uh, presently I am here alone? Uh, so if you can manage it, uh, try and arrest me. Bring them here, I will charge them and put them behind us. Foreigners, listen carefully, this is a tip. Ghana police, they don't make mistakes. Even when they have made mistake, that mistake is your fault. So you are the mistake. I'm telling you. In a court, you can actually battle it in court or whatever it is. The police. Don't even try it. Court. Which court? Here. When you put this court, court. <laughs> Anyway, but it's all good. We are still in there. Can you look or you don't put this to the inside? Or when I go to me, I just take your passport and leave. <laughs> That was a lovely performance. You know this? That thing he said was my favorite. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be funny, and uh, I'm glad you got a spare rib. Don't worry, just give us the invoice. We'll pay for all the costs involved. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. Vimi Yazo, Kake Comedy. Unapo, Wanoni, Anyewo, Wakbe, next week. Bosa.